Christ is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. I know that uh, Brother Chad and Sister Tanya left out of here because they had to go, but I believe that he can take care of that situation. I listened to Brother Rhodes today, and I believe that he can take care of that situation. How many of you tonight believe that he can take care of your situation? Let's ask that again. How many of you believe he can take care of your situation? Participation is the key with God. If you raise your hands, our brother told us we begin to praise him. He'll be in our midst. Tracy, don't go nowhere, I'm done. I'm really going to sing. 
Let me tell you about what God can do. I can talk about me because I don't know what goes on in your life, but I can talk about me. Five months ago, we had one, one job, maybe two jobs. Two jobs on the board, that was it. I was depressed. I was hurt. I used all of them things, you know. God, will I serve you all my life? Lord, I've done everything I know to do. Lord, where did you leave me? Why did you let me down? I even tried what David did. The Bible said David encouraged himself. Yes. But I woke up about 3 o'clock in the morning, and I don't never do all of this. God doesn't work through me like this. I hear people say, oh, I mean, don't get it the wrong way. He does different with me. I get things when people are talking. That's how I get my stuff from God most of the time. I don't do 3 o'clock in the morning because when I hit the pillow, the only thing that I hear is either my wife snoring or the dog's barking. Because if the dog's bark, something's going on, so I'm getting up. But any other thing, I really don't pay attention to what's going on. I hear something else. But about 3 o'clock in the morning, I began to pray before I went to bed. And I said, God, I don't know what to do. I have asked you repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. I don't know where to go. You know what he said to me at 3 o'clock in the morning? I've never, ever had this happen. He said, I am that I am. I said, what? I said, what did you say? Honey, I'm asleep. What's the matter with you? I fell back asleep. Two minutes later, I heard I am that I am. You know what happened? I woke up the next morning, went in the office. There's my mom that can testify to it. I went on the fax machine. There were seven purchase orders from different people that did not expect to happen. You don't tell me God can't give you what you need. When you need it, he can take care of you. He can do it. Seven. Why seven? Who can do it? Why seven? <laughs> must be something I am that I am. Hallelujah. Imagine that. Never thought of that, that Brother Rose. Hey. Seven. But see, God is in control yes, he is. of every situation. You know, you need people to tell you that all the time. God is in control of every situation. Yes, he is. Hey, I don't understand why he does what he does. That doesn't mean I'm rich, y'all, so don't get all nervous that we're loaded up. But we still need God to bless us, so don't don't get all excited. But I'm working, and we've got jobs to do, and God's helping us. Just like you've got something to do, and God's helping you. God is in control of every situation in your life. I don't care where you came from, where you're going, what you've been through, who likes you, who don't like you, who cares for you, who don't care for you. It matters not. But Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. As long as Jesus loves you, it doesn't matter what everybody else does. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So I'm telling you tonight, he can speak to the crippled. Yes, And they stand right up and walk. He can talk to the deaf and dumb. They can hear and start to talk. He can do it tonight. I don't know what these brothers got on plan. I'm not in charge of the service. If they want to stay here till 9 o'clock, I guess we'll stay here till 9 o'clock. But if you want to get what God has for you, this place is wide open for you to receive what God has for you. You can stand here and wait and wait for the right altar call. You can stand here and wait for the right preacher to preach. You can stand there and wait for the right testimony to testify. But brother, when that water was troubled back then, all they wanted to do was get to it. Because the angel had troubled the water. They had been there. And if you can't get to there, just cry out. Because Jesus is right there. Who can speak to the crippled and the sick?